Okay, can you guys hear me all right? Excellent. Okay. Uh, well, let's get this show on the road then. Uh, we'll just kind of hang out for a few minutes uh, while everybody gets connected uh, to both uh, Discord and Twitch. So uh, the way I've got this set up is uh, the Discord audio stays only on Discord. So I can hear it, but it's not going to get recorded uh, in the stream. So if somebody asks a question, I'll restate the question so that it's in the audio recording. Um, but this way you guys aren't, I'm not putting y'all's questions up on, um, or however you word the question isn't going to go into the stream. Yeah, so exactly. So it'll only ever be my voice on, on Twitch. Um, so yeah, so we'll go through this, um, once everybody gets, gets on the, uh, the stream here in five or six minutes. Um, so in the meantime, just kind of. Let's uh, take a, you know, just sit around and chit chat. Um, I need to get like a bunch of cool graphics and stuff like all the cool streamers have. Like, we'll be right back. Um, yeah, if you know, is uh, I know OBS has a bunch of like plugins and stuff for doing cool things like that. Um, so if you have one to, that you would suggest, then uh, let me know. I also need to get like sound effects so I can have like clapping and. Okay. Man, we're, we're, we're so going affiliate, man. We're going to rake in the ad revenue. Um. Oh, DeFrenzo, are you good with uh, Photoshop? I was just curious. I'm looking at this front uh, screen on Canvas and thinking I need to take one of those coronavirus-like things and plop it on top. Like, uh, you know, like this thing, right? Just like pop that on, uh, or something, uh, you know, one of these, like this thing and, uh, mix, yeah, mix the two. So it'd be kind of funny looking. Uh, how many people we got in the, uh, disc band restaurants and stuff? Yeah, uh, the governor announced that uh, earlier today um, with no definitive time for when they have to have stopped service. So I imagine that like Illinois and whatnot, it'll basically be closing tonight or maybe closing tomorrow night um, uh, will be when restaurants stop uh, stop that service. Right, it's going to be like that here too. So, and I imagine that uh, basically the rest of the states are going to follow follow suit. No, I'll just uh, I can alt tab. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Okay, we may not get everybody in Discord. Let me see how many we've actually got on the stream. Okay, so uh, looks like we got 13 people. 13 people watching right now. We should be at uh, 20, well, 30 or 31, counting me and the, the TAs who are hiding in the staff-only channel, probably raising all kinds of ruckus. Um, and my sister may join us. In fact, that reminds me, I need to 
make her a um, staff. So my sister is, uh, she's offline at the moment, but uh, she is also a pretty big streamer. Uh, if you want to follow her, it's Peekaboo Bang. Um, let's see, Call of Duty or Battlefield. Um, um, she hasn't been on in a little while, but uh, um, she was for a while doing a pretty cool thing, which was she would take uh, uh, weapons from Call of Duty, and she lives out in the desert. And she would find somebody who has the actual thing and then go out to a shooting range and shoot it, uh, which is pretty cool. So anyway. Um, all right. Uh, well, we're up to 20 people. Uh, let's get this affiliate train going. Woohoo! We're going to make all the money in all the ads. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, so the way this will work um, is uh, during class, I won't be able to see the Discord text chat. Um, well, I, I probably could. I could uh, actually, you know what? I wonder if I can. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to have to mess with this, but um, uh, I will only be able to see the text chat that's in uh, on Twitch, not what's in Discord while we're live. Um, afterwards, of course, we can use uh, Discord for everything else. Um, so if you have questions while we're kind of getting going, then um, uh, if you've got uh, Discord set up, then go into the CS101 channel and I'll be able to hear the audio from there. Um, if you have a text-based question, then uh, put it in the Twitch stream uh, chat and, and I'll be able to answer the questions there. Um, okay, well, I guess we should get to it then. So, um, oh, I guess I should mention one other thing, which is one reason that I'm using well, there's several reasons that I'm using Twitch as opposed to um, um, Canvas conferences, which probably a number of your other. Um, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> the uh, Doctor Denarii is. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, I'm just my brain just crashed. Um, uh, econ professor, um, derp, 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 what's his last name? Dunaway, that's it. Yes, sorry. My brain just froze for a second. So, yeah, so that's Dr. Denarii. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, uh, we're going to... Now, you better watch it, Dr. Dunaway, because we might raid your class's channel later and, um, you know, like, totally learn all learn us all the econ or something yeah exactly so, <laughs> anyway um okay so um yeah one of the reasons i'm using twitch instead of the canvas conferences is because everybody and their mother is trying to use canvas conferences and so as you could imagine uh server load issues are being uh, problematic um the other benefit is that i can export everything from here on twitch to YouTube, and so for the anybody who's not connected, or uh, if you want to go back and watch something, then you can you can very easily do that. Um, all right, well, so let's jump in. So um, the first part of the semester, the first half really was a lot of skills building stuff, and the second half is going to be very project oriented. Um, and so what we'll basically start with today is uh, several weeks worth of video game development um, using, for the most part, uh, an online platform called Scratch. So uh, I'll just open the browser window, and you're going to go to scratch.mit.edu. And when you do that, you'll see, let me sign out so you can see what it would look like. Um, 
this is what you'll see. So the first thing that you need to do is create a user. So if you hit join, it'll ask you for a username and a password. And then when you hit next, it'll ask you for email address, things of that sort. Uh, my recommendation is that you use your Wabash email address um, for this. You don't have to. You can use whatever email you want, but um, you certainly have the Wabash one, so, you know, make use of it. Um, and then your username can be, again, whatever. Don't make it, it – it can be your real name. It doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure that whatever it is, it is uh, kid-friendly, so – uh, Scratch is a, a platform designed for children, and so, um, you know, keep it clean. Uh, anyway, so you'll go through the steps to create a user, and uh, I'll kind of pause for a moment while everybody does that. Um, the uh, one thing that you will need to do is, um, and this is something recent that they've implemented, uh, is to verify your email address uh, to sort of fully activate your account. So when you finish creating the account, check your email, you should have something that, that's asking for a verification. So, um, okay, so I'm going to, um, um, sign in. 